Hey, um, I'm here today, fuzzy hair and all, um, to do a little video on packing. And I've done packing videos before. This one is a little different in that this is packing for Disneyland. And we've never been before, so not exactly sure what to expect. Um, it's actually kind of chilly out there right now. It's very warm here in Alabama right now. Uh, we've been hitting 80 degrees the last couple days and expected again today. So it's going to be kind of a shock <laughs> to us to go out there where it's only in the 60s and it's expected to rain, which how often does it really rain in Southern California? Mm, only while we're there. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's fine. It's vacation. We'll have a great time no matter what. We're used to rain. We're used to Walt Disney World. It always rains there. So, you know, why not rain in Disneyland? So I wanted to show you what we're packing and I'm trying to pack light this time, as light as I can, given that it is supposed to be kind of chilly while we're there. Um, it's just kind of a trend that I've been working on, just trying to pack less and, um, cause there's always things that we don't use. And so just really trying to bring the, the basics. Um, so let me turn around and show you what, we are bringing this time those four pieces of luggage which are basically all carry-on size um, the black one's a little large for a carry-on in the fact that it's quite wide but um, the red one we've totally used as a carry-on before the purple one definitely and then of course my Walt Disney World backpack that is all we're planning on taking that in my purse so we'll see hopefully <laughs> Hopefully everything that I think will fit in there will. Okay, I am back and I have kind of have things all laid out here. It looks like a giant mess, but I promise there's a method to my madness. Um, I actually need to kind of take things out so I can film um, and also work the things that I've had to add into what's already there. And if you can see it, this is like the LA area. Um, so we will arrive Saturday, it's supposed to be about 64, sunny, beautiful, wonderful. Sunday looks absolutely gorgeous, 69 degrees and sunny. Let me click ahead. Okay, and now Monday, um, I haven't checked this since yesterday, so I think Monday originally had some rain. Um, looks like Monday's okay, um... Tuesday though, 61 rain, and those low temperatures are what kind of concern me, the 46 degrees, 47 degrees, and then moving ahead, uh, let me go ahead and go all the way to Friday if I can, oh, can't, seven day, duh, anyway, um, so now it looks like Wednesday is going to be decent anyhow, and it uh, looks like they've removed some of the rain chance maybe for Thursday. So this is actually a good, this is looks much better than it did when I checked it yesterday, honestly. So to me, especially those 40 degrees at night, that's chilly to me. Um, so definitely sweatshirts, definitely um, probably a couple other things that I've thrown in here. Um, our rain jackets are one thing I had to get to add. Um, Dan has actual jacket. I have my that's my Walt Disney World poncho. You can't tell because it's all folded in with the logo right now. But it's my Walt Disney World poncho. I grabbed that. And these are just the, some of those little cheap, um, I don't know if they call them magic gloves or whatever, but they're just the little stretchy gloves. I threw those in because I thought, you know, in the 40 degree-ish range is not horrible, but... Um, if you're sitting, especially, and you're not moving around, um, like for watching Fantasmic or World of Color, I'm thinking, I might, my hands might get kind of cold, and then those take up so little room, they're probably worth sticking in to bring along, so I did. I'm going to show you guys what is in my checked bag. This is going to have most of my clothes and, um, a few other things that I'm not going to need to access right away. Whoa, <laughs> my hair is just crazy today. Um, washed it and the humidity is, anyway, 
just <laughs> noticed that. But okay, back to the packing. That's what we're here for. Um, this is my black suitcase um, that's going to be checked. And I'm, I'm praying that the baggage handlers don't destroy it. It is hard sided. Um, and in the past, we have not had super great luck with um, hard sided suitcases, they tend to get cracked. Uh, what I'm bringing, we are going to be in um, San Diego for a couple days, and then we're we have a five day park hopper. Uh, do they call it park hopper in Disneyland? I think so. Anyway, um, I'm going to call it a park hopper. We have a five day park hopper for Disneyland and California Adventure. So we're going to spend five days, um, seven days total. We're flying out on Saturday, flying back on Saturday. So I need about seven outfits. Um, so what I am bringing, because it is going to be a little cooler, and for me, shorts weather usually needs to be in the 70s or above. So I am bringing one pair of black denim shorts. I don't know if I'll wear them or not, but I'm going to Southern California. I just kind of felt like shorts. I had to bring one pair. Um, this is a skirt, and these are actually little yoga shorts to go under the skirt. It's really cute, really nice, soft fabric, kind of stretchy. Oh, that's actually the shorts, but um, it's actually really similar material for the skirt. So I'm looking, it's from the Disney store. And if you watch our trip log, vlogs eventually from this trip, you'll probably see it. Um, these are a pair of long khaki um, pants. They're real thin material, which is nice. Um, but yet, you know, they cover everything, so... They're, they're nice for kind of in-between weather. And they sort of go with most everything, too. And then these are yoga capris um, or yoga leggings, whatever you want to call them. And those I'll either, I can sleep in, wear, whatever. And then a pair of jeans. So that's all that I'm bringing um, for bottoms. Um, I'm wearing a pair of long black uh, leggings on the plane, so... I mean, I'll have those with me as well. And then, in here are my shirts. I have a black cardigan sweater that goes with this skirt. And also a red t-shirt there. Um, that goes with the skirt as well. Um, black tank top. I almost always bring a couple of tank tops. They're nice for layering and wear under things that um, might be kind of thin and see-through otherwise. And... Sometimes I sleep in them. It just they're handy and they take up very little room. So I always bring a couple. So I have there's a pink one and a black one. Um, this is um, my I'll be your mini T-shirt. This is a Disney T-shirt. Um, that's another Disney T-shirt. And uh, down in there is my Star Wars shirt. This is a really light um, sweatshirt that says California on it. So I'm taking that. Again, I'm not going to unroll all these, but if you want to see specific outfits, I'm by no means a trendsetter, so <laughs> um, I'm not one of those vloggers that you watch. Ooh, what's she wearing? Eh, no. She's wearing what's ever comfortable. Um, but but no, I, I, I like cute Disney stuff. But um, but yeah, so if you want to see specific outfits, they'll, they'll be in our vlogs. I'm not going to unroll everything, but just to give you an idea of, about the amount of things that I'm bringing, the type of things that I'm bringing. Um, and yes, I love packing cubes. If you've seen any of my other vlogs, um, these are great. I discovered these a couple years ago and I use them every trip I go on. And my suitcase. Again, I'm not going to unwrap all this stuff, but I have, I, I probably, I have overdone on shoes. Uh, I know I have, but that's just me. I, I like having extra shoes with me. So you could probably pack lighter by eliminating some shoes. This is all my underwear, um, socks, I think my swimsuit's even in this one, so that's kind of the, the miscellaneous one. Um, then this, this is going to be an exception. It's not going in a cube because I don't really have a good spot for it. This is um, my little indulgence that I bought um, prior to the trip online uh, when they had their 25% off on Shop Disney. It says Disneyland Resort, kind of hard to read, but I just thought these are so cute. This is from their new line, and I really actually needed a zip-up hoodie. It's got the cute little upside down, but 
um, cute little Mickey on the front. Um, this one I didn't open yet to look at exactly what's all in here, so let's discover together. Um, this is kind of my, my random goodies that I bring. Um, uh, carabiner clips to me are so handy. I always bring tape, sharpie, bottle opener, because you know, you never know, you might want to have a bottle of wine or something while you're on vacation on the beach. That's fun. Um, this is just band-aids in here. Moleskin, handy. If you ever get those nasty Disney blisters, you'll be thankful you had that. This is just a roll of Ziploc bags, because I'm a firm believer in those. Obviously, you can see I have pretty much everything in Ziplocs. Um, this is an extra battery because my scale, which is currently hanging off my suitcase, keeps flashing that the battery's low, so I don't want it to die on me. So I have an extra one. And I always bring a nightlight, that's I think just from the Dollar Tree, an extension cord, and a uh, plug adapter in case we say somewhere that's older that, um, yeah, that doesn't have a uh, grounded plug. And sunscreen, very important. And sewing kit, my little cleaning miscellaneous. I've got some Tide Pods in there. Um, dish soap to wash out our mug. Well, actually, not bringing... Yeah, we won't have a reusable mug this time. I'm actually drinking out of my Disney World one today. There it is, over there. Um, but anyway, um, I am bringing a water bottle, a uh, Brita filtered water bottle. So, dish soap to wash that. A um, lint roller, Tide pen, some dryer sheets. You know, just miscellaneous stuff. That kind of usually always travels with me. Um, dry shampoo, sorry, got out of frame there. Ooh, and focus, there we go. And then this is all wrapped up, but it's just a little uh, makeup mirror on a little stand, folding stand. Okay, a couple things I realized I just forgot to mention. My curling wand is in this suitcase, and also this mesh bag here is a laundry bag. This is our um, toiletry kit. Um, I really like this one because it, it hangs. So that's, there we go, hangs. <laughs> um, and this one has, of course, my husband's razor and just, you know, the various, oh, didn't realize that was in there. Um, anyway, just the various um, things you need, toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, body wash, all in there. Um, I brought some vitamin C drops because notoriously, it seems like one of us always gets sick, usually me at Disney. Oh, this is toothbrushes, toothpaste, and floss in here. What have I got in here? Ah, uh, prescriptions, earplugs in case our hotel is noisy, um, zinc oxide ointments, always handy, mouthwash, razors, um, the usual stuff. But I like this kit. Again, can't zip one-handed. Um, I like this kit because it does fold really flat and um, it it is lined in a couple of, not this one, but this is all plastic lined, so if something leaks or explodes, it's real easy to wipe out. Okay, one more thing with this suitcase. Got everything on this side. Um, this side, I ended up uh, putting my husband's tennis shoes in here as well, so yeah. Everything else is the same, and our toiletry kit went under there, so it is very full. I mean, I won't be adding anything else to this suitcase, but it does all fit, so quite a lot of stuff for a carry-on and I'll do a weight check here in just a minute okay weight check should be fun one-handed uh, okay so 20 sorry <laughs> 28 8 not bad okay so this is my husband's checked bag um, he does use some packing cubes, but not all cubes like I do. He, you can see he's got some stuff that is just laid in here. So he's got his surf shoes, surf socks, whatever you want to call him. He's taking more shorts because he the cold weather doesn't bother him as much as it does me. So he's bringing quite a bit of shorts, um, swimsuits, underwear, um, sleeping shorts, that kind of thing is all in here and a pair of jeans. He's also, I think, planning to wear jeans on the plane, so he'll have a, he'll have a couple of pair with him. And his Star Wars sweatshirt. And then 
this is his um, shirts in here. He's got a couple of polo shirts and the rest t-shirts. He's pretty simple. Um, easy to pack for. And then that's really all that's in here. Other, oh, I lied. There's something over there that's got to go back in. But that right there, and this is a duffel bag. And I learned a couple of trips ago that this works awesome for bringing stuff home because we always tend to bring stuff home. And so what I do is on the way back, I will fill this with all our dirty laundry and check it. And it, it has survived being checked um, at least a couple of times now, so I'm pretty impressed. We'll be going in here as well. These are all little snack-sized bags of mixed nuts, which make a great snack for the parks. Okay, let's talk about this carry-on bag. This is going to be one of our carry-ons. Um, in this side, I have my ears, which, again... Um, if you watch her vlogs, you'll get to see those. Um, this is all hair ties and bobby pins and all that good stuff. This is our park bag, which I love this bag. Um, it's been in lots of our vlogs. Um, this is what it folds down to. It's not as large as that backpack by any means. It's, it's a bit smaller, but it's also so much more convenient because it is a little smaller. It packs down to this. It's semi-waterproof. This is my rain poncho from Disney World. Belts. Um, okay, and in, in our carry-on, because I'm a little paranoid, I always pack one, at least one change of clothes. So that's what is in this cube. My sweatshirt, um, his rain jacket, a hat for each of us. And again, I told you I have a shoe problem. These are my Skecher sandals in here. And very important, our Brita water bottle. So um, all of this will go in here, and I'll show you once it's all back in how it fits. This is my liquids. I love this bag. It's great. You can fit more in here than you can just a standard Ziploc, but it's within regulation size. Um, and then anything that's not liquid is in here. Um, oh, that, very important, that needs to go in here, and then once we get through security, I can put it back on my purse. My okay, so quick update, I did fit it all in here. Um, I did decide not to put my liquids in this bag and put them in the backpack where they're easier to get out, but um, they would have fit, I mean, I could have made it fit in here. Um, but yeah, everything is in there, and let's see, do I have anything in here? I don't think so. I don't think I've packed anything in here, but you could. Um, there's all kinds of compartments in there. Um, and I do have, aha, uh -huh, quarters. Um, oh, one other thing that will go in this bag, and another neat feature of this bag. Let's see if I can zip it up one-handed. Um, we actually... Yeah, the camera shot's going to be all over the place here for a second as I try to zip this up. Struggle. Um, there, good enough. I'll show you. There is a nice little sleeve in here um, for a laptop. So um, my husband will probably put his because his is a little bulkier in this bag. We both have to bring our laptops this time for work things. Uh, you can never truly get away from work anymore. But um, anyway, so we'll have two laptops with us, unfortunately. One will go in here in that handy sleeve. Oh, another cool thing about this bag is there's actually another zipper back here. And inside here, I'm not going to pull them out, but they're backpack straps. And they come out, and so you can actually carry this as a backpack if you want, or use, we usually use the shoulder strap, but there is that capability anyway so it's a great bag I do highly recommend it they make a wheeled version too um, the, which I admit the wheels would be nice but it cuts down on some of the, the interior space okay now for some fun of packing our carry-on backpack um, I love these backpacks that Disney gives out with well not give um, they're like their promotional backpacks um, you spend, I don't even remember what it is, $50, $70, and you can get the backpack for like 20 Well, first of all, we have this hanging off the back. This is my husband's little travel pillow. 
And this is my favorite little guy. I love Sorcerer Mickey. Okay, so what's going in here? My planner, my MacBook. Oh, this is a random uh, little propel for our water bottle. Um, something that I don't necessarily bring with me to Disney World that's coming with me to Disneyland. And can anyone guess why I would need to bring this? Well, that is because, of course, Disneyland still uses paper tickets, no magic bands. This is going to be an adjustment for us because we are so used to magic bands for everything. Um, but luckily I remembered, hey, I'm probably going to want a lanyard. And I've got a little pouch that fits my tickets. Um, I'm probably going to want to be able to just wear them, especially if we decide to use Legacy Fast Pass and just pull the paper, paper, paper Fast Passes. Snacks. We are a family that snacks when we travel. We have about six hours of flying ahead of us tomorrow, so M&Ms are our staple. That is like a given. And then we've got some pretzels and random stuff. Um, and then, of course, in this bag will be my liquids, so I can pull those out quickly. Um, our sunglasses, very important portable charger and the necessary cords. Um, this is something new and fun in here for this trip. This is actually uh, little lenses for my phone. Um, and I'll try to show you these in the vlog when we get there. Um, this is what I keep uh, while well, my camera goes in here. And I do have extra SD card and batteries in here. And then I have even more extra batteries and SD cards and um, the charger for my batteries is all in this little pouch. So I have that and that will go in the bag. Uh, our passports, a deck of cards because I'm old school and I can play on my phone, yes, but I actually like to use old school cards. Um, this is my go-to wallet. Love this thing. Um, I use this on all my Disney trips. It goes in my pocket with the essentials inside. Clips to my belt loop so it's secure. It's great. I love this. And then my regular wallet's going with me as well that I'll keep things in that I don't need in the parks on a daily basis. And what else? Uh, boarding passes are printed and ready to go here. Comb. Um, purse. This has all our documents in it. Has, um, yeah, all of our reservations. Um, some coupons. Maps. Um... Our tickets for Disneyland are in here. Wahoo! Yeah, and for all of you Disney people, uh, Disney World people, I should say, yeah, this is the little pouch I was talking about that's going to go on my lanyard. Yeah, remember these babies? The old school hard copy tickets. It's like a blast from the past. One other quick thing that I found as I was packing stuff. Um, this will actually go in my purse. This is something that I started doing, um, oh gosh, I don't know, a couple of trips ago. This is obviously just an inexpensive pill container from Walmart. And what I did was, because I'm a little OCD, but I took a label maker and actually made labels for different types of medication. Um, we don't, this isn't stuff that we necessarily need every trip, but it's handy to have with us. Motion sickness pills for me. Um, allergy because it seems like every time I travel somewhere different my allergies kick in and then pain meds and heartburn medication and then the end one here is just um, I put some earrings in there um, I actually have another one of these that I didn't show that also has my earrings and necklaces in that one's slightly bigger has the slightly bigger slots but same same idea okay so final two pieces packed um, the only thing that has to go in here yet is my Mac cord, um, and everything is in here, including my little camera pouch, and my phone will just go in the front there. So yeah, everything fit in here. The liquids are easy access. Um, all our sunglasses, cards, um, everything easy to get to, and... Yeah, there's everything, and that is how I pack for Disneyland. So make sure you um, follow along on our channel if you're interested in seeing those vlogs. Um, it'll be a little bit before those are up, 
Um, it usually takes me a few months. And actually we've got another trip that needs to go on before the Disneyland vlogs will go up. Uh, we were in Disney World at the end of January to move Rachel in to her apartment for DCP, the Disney College Program, if you're not familiar with that. Um, she's working at Disney World right now, actually, so if you happen to go and you stop by Disney Springs and you see a little blonde named Rachel, um, she, that's where she is. So we're really excited for her and she's having a great time. She's actually at Animal Kingdom today. What a rough life. Um, but she'll be at work later tonight. So yeah, if you're going to Disney World, um, she's there through at least uh, the middle of May right now. So stop by and say hey to Rach. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, like, all those fun things. Um, or at least even if you don't surprise, sub, can't speak, subscribe. Um, come back and check out our Disneyland videos in a couple of months.